Hey guys, my name is Kamran Yunus and today's tutorial I'm going to start ANSYS and I'm going to do a series of videos on ANSYS. So ANSYS is basically a, a analysis software where you can do different kinds of analysis like static structural, hydrodynamics, fluid mechanics and all that. So first we'll start the ANSYS workbench here is the window first uh, these are the analysis systems which you can see uh, different kinds like static structural and all that so for today's tutorial I'm going to use the static structural ones so first select that static structural you can select and double click and it will open a new module uh, which contains different parts like geometry and model and solution and all that you click on geometry and then edit geometry so this will open a design module where you can sketch your model so it's uh, basically a uh, uh, sketcher kind of thing where you can draw your model uh, maybe 2d or 3d so first what I need to do is you go to so you select the XY plane and look at now you select the line and you start drawing the l-shaped cause this is the l-shaped extrusion tutorial so first draw the lines this will be uh, l-shaped for your so anyhow you draw the l-shaped and So this is all shaped, right? So as you can see, everything is uh, uh, um, good, but uh, the upper horizontal part is not perfectly horizontal. So we need to make it uh, like horizontal. So for that, what you need to do is you go to constraints and you select horizontal, and then you simply select that. It will make it horizontal yeah so now your sketch is perfectly horizontal and vertical and it's a L shaped so what you can do is you can define the lengths of different sections so for that you need to go to constraints before that you need to equal so this is how you make equal lengths for both the parts and then you can go to dimensions and then general and simply give the dimensions like this you can select this one and the axis and it will take horizontal dimensions so now you can give uh, values for your dimensions for my purpose I'll use 35, 20 and 5 mm you can use your own dimensions it's up to you so 20 and then So once you are done with your dimensions, what you can do is, you can uh, you can switch to modeling from there. You can select your sketch from here. 
simply we select the sketch our sketch is highlighted that means our select is selected and now you go to extrude and then you define the depth you take any value I'll take 100 so depth is given now you can click generate so it's generated but you can't see so you need to go to isometric view see now you are able to see the L-shaped extrusion and uh, if you want to hide all those axis and constraints you simply select on display plane and it will automatically hide those things if you want to show it you simply select that once more so yeah here is how you do L-shaped extrusion and ANSYS it's very easy and you can do it like in within 2-3 minutes so yeah thank you so much if you like the video please like and comment if you have any problems subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much hope you enjoy and I'll do the next video very soon.